All right, so we're back. I dropped the trigger in. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it. It's really crisp. The only thing they should tell you is that you should get anti-walk pins. Um, it's actually, you can see it kind of coming out just by pushing on the other side. They should not be doing that. Um, mainly because the old trigger, when you drop these in, they sit down like this and there's tension on it. Well, in these new ones, because they're flat, everything's com all complete. You don't have any of that lower tension. Um, so if you're gonna go ahead and put one of these in, probably works with any of them. You're gonna want anti-walk pins. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and order those. I was taking a shot in the dark to see if it fit nice, but it didn't. Um, I did see a lot of people complaining about instructions. This is what came in the box. Um, which we, my daughter's toolbox is in here too. This is the package that it came in. This is what comes with it. Kind of hard to see. Um, just basically a description. Uh, nothing for install instructions. If you don't know what you're doing, don't take these apart because there are many, many, many small springs like this one and pins and everything else that can literally jump away from you. Um, just a quick look. This is the scope. It's made by Bushnell. It's kind of hard to see with the glare. It's four and a half by 18. Really nice. The pepper mount securely locks that thing on. Like I said, this is a Palmetto State Armory. It's kind of hard to see. Um, whole setup. I mean, real nice. M lock. I think it's 16 inch. Stainless steel barrel, 6.5 Creedmoor. Really nice gun. Um, we're gonna go check this thing out this weekend, see how well the trigger functions. Hopefully I can get the anti-walk pins. If not, I'll have to redneck it, put some duct tape on each side of it and call it good. Uh, I zeroed these with these rounds here. Uh, they picked them up at Academy. I think they were like 19 bucks. 140 grain, boat tail hollow points. It shot really nice. Um, really nice little little round just to plink with. Went ahead and went with a Pro Mag. I uh, did a lot of research. You're probably gonna want to look into the LRSR mags. Uh, some of the guys were saying they were having issues. The rounds are real tight. I mean, literally, there's not much room in between the tip of that and the plastic. I mean, you can barely put a piece of paper in there. Uh, they seem to feed good. I just got this 10 round one. I had a 30 round that I zeroed it with. The rounds are real nice. Like I said, they're boat tail hollow points. Um, I did do a lot of research online as far as what rounds were shooting the best, and I actually found out that a Federal makes a uh, American whitetail? No, something, I don't know. I ordered a couple boxes, they should be here today. They were completely out. They're only like 17 bucks a box for, they're really good for plinking, and guys are saying they're getting really good groups. Uh, sub MOA, so if you want, you know, go ahead, check this out. I got a couple other ones I'm probably gonna put up. We don't know really how well these are gonna go. Um, so we just figured we'd throw one up real quick. Like I said, it's a real nice gun. Got the bipod off eBay. I had a Mako one and I've had a couple of those when I was in the military that popped out like that. And I really never liked them that much. Um, didn't really think they worked real well. I only put one on here because we were bench shooting this and be a little easier with a higher up because everything I put out bag wise was getting blown apart from the concussion but I think that was more from the uh, 458 SOCOM like I said there's the whole scope again like I said you can find these online it's all Burris uh, really really nice setup I don't think you're gonna be able to see in there for the nah. have to do it during the day maybe but uh Really nice, nice shooting gun. If you guys are thinking about getting one, I say go for it. Hopefully I'll be reloading some rounds and putting stuff up there. Um, if you like it, let me know, comment, 
Uh, if you got any questions, um, hit me up on the comments and I'll answer back as soon as I can. But like I said, it's a really, really nice rifle. And there's guys that are spending $1,100, $1,200, $1,500 for these rifles. And I can tell you right now, if you go on Palmetto State Armor, you can pretty much build one for under a grand. And uh, you won't be disappointed. There's the Palmetto State Armory. Probably can't see it real well. My uh, shop has really shitty lighting. But, you know, hey, it's a work in progress. All right, y'all, have a good one.